the basement of a high performance home. Uh, it's a nine foot tall basement down to the footing. Uh, what we did today was put four inches of EPS foam uh, down on top of the footing and over eight inches of compacted gravel. Uh, all these seams are staggered to, uh, to minimize the heat loss to the seams. Um, next steps will be our air and vapor barrier that will be 15 mil plastic, uh, overlap two feet on the seam, up one foot on the wall taped with uh, Compego tape from 475 to the wall. Um, that 15 mil is our vapor barrier. And then we'll be using the foundation wall as our air barrier going from foundation wall to mud sill. We'll have another transition up there. Um, all that plastic will, again, will be taped. It will also be taped to all of our penetrations that are coming up for our um, lower level bath, sump pit, floor drain, and injection pit. On the wall, we went ahead and uh, transposed the details of how we want it done uh, so everybody can see what's happening. So. Um, minimize the number of errors that potentially could happen out here. So we started off the project after excavation with eight inch tall footing, concrete footing, then an eight inch tall, like, excuse me, eight inch wide foundation wall. After ground rough plumbing, we came back with eight inches of compacted gravel. That's what's below our foam. Um, that comes up to the footing height. Then we're putting our four inches of foam over the top of the footing, over top of the eight inches of compacted gravel. Next will be, uh, as I mentioned, is the 15 mil plastic that will be on top of the foam and then turned up the wall a foot and we'll tape that there. That's our air barrier. Next will be um, four inches of foam for the foundation. Um, all that happens before we actually pour the concrete floor. Um, our, the trick uh, with the sequencing of this is to have our concrete follow this foam and uh, air barrier soon after. The 15 mil plastic will shrink with the sun hitting it and so we want to really minimize what might pull away or kind of round out these corners. So what we'll do is uh, make sure we're out here the day before to get uh, the plastic and the foam onto the wall. Then we'll pour a concrete floor. Um, again, nothing None of the concrete will be touching any other concrete or anything that has to do with the earth. It will be all isolated with foam to keep that concrete nice and warm in the winter time. We do have an additional chase and insulation wall or cavity. It's a you know traditional two by four wall with um, insulation inside of that, which will come after or when we're ready to start framing. So.